everybody, I am back with another bad ass over under brought to you by Johnny Morris today. It has got his name written all over it. He's happier than hell to have this fine Nitro Z21 XL Pro boat. And it's pro, let me tell you, it is pro. And it is kind of pro when you start to look at it all. So it is the Z21 XL Pro, the one Neil's gonna ride in someday in his life because he loves everything about the boat. You ready? All right, the boat itself and engine with the trailer, 250 Pro XS four stroke from Johnny, 67,595, that's our starting price. So boom, it comes in right around 67,000. Ah, what the hell, let's round it up to 68. Why not, that's what Johnny would do. Um, to get to the next level, to get it to your local Cabela's and or Bass Pro shops so it can be barcoded, it needs the prep and freight cost. So you're gonna add the prep and freight cost to it, which Mason's gonna pay for at $15.95. So he's got a little extra cash. Mason said he'd pay pay for the uh, freight and prep on that one. So um, I don't even know where the hell I'm at right now. It's 67.5 and 1,500. Uh, piss on it, let's get to the goal. Here we go, you ready? Let's do it. All right, so trolling motor batteries. We know we're going to Minn Kota Altrex 112 MDI 45 inch shaft high pilot link so we can link the world to the boat. That's what we wanna do. It comes with Lorance, but we'll get to what we're getting rid of. All right, the one tracker lithium cut. And we're back. We had to move a boat because we're working, trying to make money. So back to the one tracker lithium WRM 100 HP. It sounds like I'm in NASCAR for Christ's sakes. Well, the one tracker lithium WRM 100 HP starting battery coming in with after he caught five pounds of fish and he was using his Strike King. No, I'm sorry. I just got carried away. Um, and you got your WRM80 HP trolling motor batteries. So basically it's coming lithium, set up for lithiums. Boom, done, out the door. You got the Mega360, twin, And we got the four bank charger. Poof, what kind of charger are we putting in this thing? We don't even know. It just says four bank. It just, oh, it comes with it. Oh, so it comes with the four bank, all right. So we took the Lowrance Ghost, unbolted it, it fell into the water. So we didn't want that, we got some money back on it though because it was waterproof. Uh, Council Electronics, we got two Hummingbird, cut! You got a whole lot of fur. No, 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 no. I don't think none of it's connected, but. Oh, that'd be cool if it was connected. That big knot. No, <laughs> you. Hey, and we're back again because the guys had to open doors, which is fine. That's what they're doing. They're working. So we're moving on to the council now. We got council electronics. Two Hummingbird MSI GPS Gen 1, well, Gen 4. Helix 10, so that's what we got. The Helix 10's at the council. We had one HDS 12 that we had to throw away, so we traded that in. So with Structure Scan Factory comes with it, I got rid of that. Um, got the Bow 212's MSI Gen, uh, GPS Gen 4's. We got rid of one 12 up front with Structure Scan. Do that away. So I think where Jordan and I were saying, we uh, ended up trading in like $10,000 worth of garbage and added $12,000 worth of stuff. So that's what we did. We got rid of 10, deducted it from the price, added 12. So that's where we were at. All right, miscellaneous options. A lot of this stuff, guys, comes as an option, but it's a free option. Does that make sense? So you can click on it and get it for free or not click on it and not have it. So we just decided to click on it. Why not? Why wouldn't we click on it? So uh, the bolt covers, badass, we got one of them. Um, the Cool Guard Livewell Cooling System. We, boom, we want our fish to stay cool, so we're putting that in. Comes with SmartCraft gauge. Um, it's got the air suspension seats, dual. So your buddy sitting next to you is gonna be riding in style and you got the air suspension seats. So we put them in there. The nitro carpet graphic. Why did I get a graphic that says nitro? Show it off. Bottom. Chad, yeah. I got a sticker on my new boat that says nitro right on, right on the carpet. What do you think of that shit? What? I don't know, it was 70 bucks, so we got it. All right. Um, we got two power poles, eight inch blade or eight foot blades, boom, boom, right on side by side. One black, one white to make it, um, everything's good. We got the 12-inch bobs, hydraulic jack plate. 12-inch bobs, hydraulic jack plate. Come factory with that 12-inch bobs? It comes with a 12-inch. Come, comes with 12-inch. Oh, okay, 12-inch hydraulic. So yeah, we're going with that. We're going to keep it. Um, hot foot with slide plate, just in case I drive it, and then Mason's got to get into it, or Chad's got to drive it. So we want to be able to slide the foot around. It's got the e-start emergency jump start system. So you flip the switch and everything's happy. That's the e-start system. It's got the kicker. KMC1 Bluetooth stereo system. You know why that is? That's so we can don't chicka bow wow chicka bow bow in our air ride seats going down the river. Boom, don't you don't? Huh? What do you think? Yeah? 
Good speakers. It doesn't matter, it doesn't say, it doesn't come with them. Kicker, everything's kicker. Yeah. Everything's yeah. kicker. That's good. Yeah, everything's kicker. Not boss. No, not boss, kicker. Um, touch screen switch panel, so you can just do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. One touch bolt control, including first fish. Key, uh, first fish night mode, master power, trim, lighting, bilge, live well, and more. Bam! You get it all. You get everything right in the touch screen. Bam, bam. You think your cell phone's got a lot of shit? This nitro will kick it to ass. You can boom, boom, boom your nitro right through to the next world. You also get a key fob remote. Got to start my boat? Boom! Ah, 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 ah. No? I don't, I don't know. That's just for fobbing lockers and yeah, stuff like that. that. That's just. Oh, so we can. Oh, so we can get into the. Yeah, that is exactly. So we can talk to the touch screen. Gotcha. Perfect. So, the first touch feature fills and recirculates live well with one touch for stress-free live well prep. Stress-free. Boom. Handles it all for you. Simple. That's what everybody wants. I'm not going to get into this little other stuff that's going on because people don't want to know about the small print. They want to know the big print, Jordan. That's the way it is. So the biggest print on is on the bottom here. Trailer options. This is where I like it because that way we can really pimp our stuff off. All right. 18 inch, yeah, 18 inch matte black wheels. We're going with them because we like the matte black wheel upgrade. Upgrade, going up the ladder. Um, tandem axle trailer, nitro trailer, so it's going to be awesome. It's going to be really strong. Surge brakes, both axles all the way around, four of them. Fiberglass fenders, hopefully they don't crack. And Galva shield frame, so we just spray it with some under underliner or something like that. So you got all that shit all in one boat at a happy total price of 86520 86520 Let's just do 87000 We just round it up. Because you know there's going to be some little odds and ends things there. Taxes, title, get the paperwork over to you. Make sure your government's happy. Make sure your local DNR's got their money. Everything's good. 86000 we're going to come in at. And you get a 21-foot boat with a 250 after you pay your prep and freight. And you get all of that crap I just listed for $87,000. So when I take all of the stuff that we put into this boat, I'm going to call it, we put all of that stuff inside of this, you get a lot of equipment on a boat for a pretty damn good price. I can't lie. I mean, I really can't. Um, technology's there, updated electronics, updated trolling motor, lithium batteries, tandem axle trailer, brakes all the way around, power poles, hydraulic plate hot foot one touch system so you can talk to your fish um, you, you got the bad boom kicker system that Chad approves of you got a key fob to talk to your touch it, it's got everything guys for 87,000 bucks it's undervalued it's undervalued it's undervalued because you get a lot of shit and you get to put it in your nitro and I think it's hard for some of these other companies to kind of battle with this I think that's Nitro's deal is we're, we can build a boat for 87,000 bucks and you can get all this cool shit. You know, if I go build another brand, which, you, you know, it's gonna be close to probably 95, 97 probably, maybe, you know, with all that crap and different styles on a 21 footer. Um, and the only reason I'm saying it's under, I, I'm not a Nitro fan. Obviously you guys know, you guys burn me all the time because I hate Nitro, you just, you guys burn me all the time. But. I'm not a nitro fan. I've had them apart. I've had them up to fiberglass places where they've done work on them and they always complain about the quality of the gel, the quality of the clear, the quality of the build. The, you know, I've seen the insides, I've been around them. A lot of guys have a lot of success with them. That's all I can say. This boat is undervalued because you're getting a lot of equipment, you're getting a lot of boat for $87,000. So it is probably an affordable boat on that, that, that platform. I mean, if you're looking for an affordable tournament ready fishing boat, I would say go look at the Nitro Z21 XL Pro from Johnny Morris, so that way you can get barcoded and make sure by the end of the day you spend 87,000 um, bucks. But it is loaded. It's loaded to the hilt. Neil, you would ride that? Yeah. You'd, you'd run it? Yeah. You'd run it. Neil would run it. Why wouldn't you? If Neil's happy, I'm happy. Let's do it. It's undervalued. All right, so let's get in more into the buying process and what I talk about with this. When I talk about the buying process, when I talk about the Johnny way, and it, it could be great intentions for John Moore, Johnny Morris. This is just his vision maybe to get you out on the water, to get you fishing, and, I, and that's cool because that's just one market of what this is. Um, and when I say the barcode boat, I mean it like, I, the, thing that, the thing that gets me is when you go to Cabela's, you go to Bass Pro, which are both great for the industry and they're great for what they do, but 
to grab the barcode thing and just go around and scan and build your boat and do whatever and then hopefully it's good when you get it and you go there and you don't even know if it's been tested or river tested and then you get in it and there's some issues we just had a guy leave with one that's trading it in because he's so disappointed in it um because of it it's just there hasn't been no time put into the boat and stuff like that i just got back from a tour where i went out to south carolina and i was at gambler and i physically was at the plant and i was able to talk to the owner of the company the ceo of the company and i was able to talk to the lead engineer about the boat we actually worked on some things with the boat we talked to them about the boat how i feel and for me to be able to do that is the same way that you would be able to do it when it comes to buying a boat so when we say 87,000 and undervalued for what you're getting, that's what I'm getting at. You're, you're undervalued for the product. But in my eyes, I wouldn't do this. I would spend the extra 10 grand and I would jump myself into a quality built boat, a boat that there's eight people, six people, maybe 10 people, 12, 13 people that are taking so much pride in the boat. They're taking pride in where they work. They take in pride in what they build. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more money because they're spending more money on quality products they're spending more money on, um, let's just say labor, because these guys are working longer hours and those guys are putting the time in because they actually give a damn. So, and I'm not saying that every nitro builder, every Triton builder, every bass tracker, nitro, towel, whatever. And I'm not saying they're bad people by any means. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm just saying if it was to be me, I would take my extra 10 grand or I would find 10 grand if I could wait an extra year and I would go put my money towards a boat, such as Gambler, such as Ballistic, such as Blazer, such as um, some of them independent guys. You know, Bass Camp makes a great boat. Rick Pierce makes a great boat down there. Rick Pierce, I can talk to. I can talk to Rick Pierce. I can talk to Jim Wells at Ballistic. I can talk to Heath Murphy, and I can talk to Scotty G out at Gambler. I can I can talk to people at, at Blazer. That's what I'm talking about, and that's what you deserve as a person that's gonna buy not calling Bass Pro and complaining about your boat. That's where I'm going with it, guys, okay? That's where I'm going to the next level. That's why an extra 10 grand for me, for me to call Jim Wells and say, hey, my, I got a problem with my ballistic. He goes, yeah, Andy, what's going on? Or if I got to call Heath Murphy out, a gambler, and say, hey, Heath, I got a problem with my gambler. And he'll be like, well, yeah, Andy, what's going on? And that's not because it's just me, but you'd get the same deal. That's where I go with the buying experience. Unless you understand and been in it, and been around it and been at these factories and see the pride that's taken in some of this stuff you'd have to understand that so that's kind of just where i was going to go with that so the buying process is totally different and for me it's worth the extra money but maybe for you it's not maybe you just want to buy the barcode boat and be done so that's just a little bit of insight on kind of what the way i feel about it and i hope you appreciate it. um appreciate it like i said nothing against Johnny and the way he's doing it, but it's just not my style. I came from being a two-bay shop, and I built this up to being this because of what we've done. And that's the same way all these independent little boat companies are trying to do. Customer service, taking care of their customers, stress trying to sell a quality, high-end, high-performance, high-material boat. And they want to always make sure you have a full experience. When Gambler says it's a Gambler experience, it is a Gambler experience. And Ballistic and Jim Wells says, come enjoy the boat, be part of the family. You're part of the family. That's what I'm talking about. So that's just a little bit of how I'm going about looking at these things. But still, the Nitro does come in undervalued just because you're piling a bunch of parts on and you're still getting it for the 87,000 um, bucks. For me, it's probably not the boat I'd choose, um, but maybe it is for you. So as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that I'm calling speed, money, and no breaks. I'm out, see ya.